I was hoping I was gonna have the whole floor welded in this truggy, but I ended up running out of some silicon bronze rods, so I only have just those upper panels left to weld in. Um, everything else is welded in. These are just, I don't even have the Zeus tabs in right now, but they're just kind of sitting there. And uh, those are made out of aluminum. Everything else is steel that's been welded in. And uh, just gotta do the trans tunnel sides and um, then these parts, these areas um, in there, I'm gonna be probably doing steel as well and welding those in. So kind of the whole thing will have kind of like a shelled look and kind of really be looking for protection from sand coming like off this front tire. So I still have this area in here to do. I'm deciding what to do with this ugly body mount. Um, I'm kind of actually thinking about cutting all this right off because there's really no point in that being on anymore. Um, I think I've said it in the video, this was a Toyota pickup at one time, and the only thing that was left was the, like, floor, the sheet metal of a factory pickup. So there was still, like, floor bolted to here, and I think it was, like, cut right here. There was a gap. So I'm just working on actually closing some stuff off a little bit. Um, you know, like, the, even the way that this whole junction is, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, so... Kind of got to figure that out. That'll be kind of what I'm working on next on this, but kind of going to take a break on this. Oh, you know what? Actually, I was going to show when I pulled the motor out. So I pulled the motor and trans out just to be able to get in here and weld, um, make it a lot easier for getting in and out of there. And then also I had these joints and stuff. I needed to weld it up. So um, did that. And then I started noticing that I there's some cracks in the frame. So this thing needs a little bit beefed up, found some more problem areas. And uh, from the steering, the beams, the forces, this box is starting to crack this frame right here. So it cracks up there and it runs down in here. And then this other side also has a crack by the motor mount. And then this motor mount is actually, the whole weld is cracked on the whole back side. So good thing I pulled that out, uh, found that stuff. And I'll get that uh, welded up as when I have, as, well, I can't talk. I'll get that welded up while I have that out. Um, but it just kind of, I want to show it because, like, it's hard to always see um, what, you know, when stuff goes bad, I say. Nobody really ever shows you, like, what goes wrong with these types of trucks. You see these trucks, and you might, they're either awesome or they're not. But the reality is, is like, you know, a truck like this, if you know this truck, you've seen how this truck is driven. Um, it doesn't surprise me at all that there's cracks by that steering box and right by the motor mounts. This thing had a decently like high horsepower motor in it last. Um, and then also just steering boxes and the beams. Uh, it's a lot of force on this stuff. So not uncommon to see that. It's a very common thing. I'll come in and weld, the, you know, grind that stuff down, weld it up, and I'll probably look at doing like some plate over top of it, um, as well as it really needs some sort of cross member in here. So the reason that thing is cracking and breaking like that, the engine mount, is it just isn't braced enough. So it just needs more support. So I'll probably look at even um, once I put the engine trans back in, about possibly doing some sort of cross member in this area just to help those frame rails from uh stop trying to be ripped apart and cracking like they are so anyways now that's where i'm at on that waiting for some rod to show up i'll keep working on uh getting the panels made and all that stuff but in the meantime i'm gonna switch my focus for a couple days and work on some sand car arms so i have a customer that's brought me some sand car arms that need a little help this weld is cracked and broken on the back side and then the upper arm is bent this arm didn't crack or anything but it did bend um, this one is bent with the crack and whatnot there's some single shock just a coil over arm he wants me to build um, a spot for a bypass he wants to add a bypass to the front of his car while I'm building arms so not uh, something I'm super familiar with, but this is a car I've, I work on the shocks on these car and I've uh, done some valving and tuning with them. So um, asked if I'd be able to make some arms for them. I said, why not? We'll see if we can figure it out. So ordered up some stuff and that's kind of what I'm going to be working on next. So I'm going to switch it over. Sand car arms. 
luckily I got some good a good side. That side is unbent and unscathed. So obviously stuffed this thing in some sort of hole. I don't know exactly what happened with it, but stuffed it into a some sort of hole, took a big hit, bent it up. Luckily I'm gonna take those and make like a little jig up on my table and see if we can make some new new uh sand car arms. So that's what I got going on. Thanks for uh checking on the chuggy build. And thanks for watching the channel. Appreciate it. Peace.